Hi, Gary here. You know, there's a gentleman I've been watching for 25 years, a client of mine, let's call him John. And John goes to lunch three times a week. He plays bridge once a week. He goes and plays golf a couple times a week when the weather permits. And uh, he also exercises three times a week. But his social calendar is filled up all the time with extended family members and lots of friends and so forth. Now he's in his 80s and I've just been amazed at the level of energy, his alertness, uh, those mobility is getting a little, you know, a little slower you know, as he moves along. And I, I just say to myself, boy, I, I hope I'm like that when I'm in my 80s. Just a great example of all of us out there. So you know, what, what's, what's John's life all about? Well, it's really three questions that I want to ask today. And this comes from an article I read uh, from MIT's Age Lab. And the first question is, is who will change the light bulbs? Now, this is all about independence but it's about you know, maintaining a home you know doing home repairs and other things around the house you can maintain independence in the home uh, you don't want to be getting up on a ladder and doing that stuff later on in life because it's very dangerous and so there has to be a plan in place to be able to do that and uh, having the mobility and having the ability to maintain the independence requires some way to make sure all that can take place the second question is how will I get an ice cream cone. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of little pleasures in life and that quality of life. Maybe it's going out to have coffee with a bunch of friends. Maybe it's having lunch with a, a, a good friend or it's going out to the movies or whatever it happens to be. But this is really about quality of life. And it's also about mobility, being able to actually go out and do these little things. And so how are we going to maintain, again, independence and mobility later on in life to really have these wonderful life's pleasures. The third question is, who will I have lunch with? Again, this is about your social network. I talked about John earlier, you know, how deep that is. You know that 40% of the women over age 65 live alone. Now I know the guys have more difficulty with this than the women, but it's an important point if you don't maintain a healthy social network. You know, studies show after one after another that your health goes down very rapidly. And so it's very important to maintain this social network. Well, what's this really all about? It's really about, you know, three things. It's planning, making smart decisions about what you're doing in life, and money. Because you have to have money for a lot of stuff to take place. And so as you're going along pre-retirement, during retirement, and on into your later 80s and 90s, these are the things you want to consider as you move along to maintain your independence, have a great quality of life, and a wonderful social network, which will really maintain everything healthy about you during the entire time frame. It's just very important. There's a great three little questions to see if you can answer them. Now, uh, right now I've got a little commercial here. We've got our tech night coming up here at Coil Financial on Thursday, October 8th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Watch this little commercial, it's kind of fun. Hello, may I help you? Yes, I'm looking to set up a Wi-Fi network in my home, but I have no idea where to begin. Well, we have several choices. First of all, we have band, different band speeds, 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz band speed, um, all based on the 802.11 model. Uh, OSI model, I'm sure you're familiar with that, um, and we have also different security, uh, WPA, WPA2, guest access, USB ports, so if you want to hook up a hard drive, you want to hook up a USB, uh, perhaps. Technology, let's make it easier than this. We understand that technology can be confusing. That's why we created our technology night. Join us on October 8th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Coyle's office for our third annual Technology Night. New this year, the Android Lounge will be joining the iLounge to help you with your smartphone questions. The Lynx guys are back by popular demand with a cybersecurity briefing. And how about a session on learning technology basics? And there's so much more in our breakout sessions. Find out more information at coilfinancial.com slash tech.